Hey Jason, this is Eric in Fukuoka. Uh, can I answer you the question about driving? Yes, lots of people drive in Japan. Um, not as many teachers drive, whether it be Eikawa or ALT teachers. I do happen to drive and I drive a lot. Uh, I commute to four schools, four different schools for my ALT gig. Um, I've been driving in Japan for a long time. <laughs> First two years I lived in Japan, I didn't drive, but after that, uh, I was really into Japanese sports cars and drifting, so I got into that scene. But uh, getting your license is, is fun, to say the least, for, for an American. You actually have to take the, the driving test itself, which is a pain in the neck. It's really anal, but it can be done pretty... I passed it on the first time, but most people don't pass it on the first time. Uh, second, third, fourth is what most of my friends have passed it on. Um, what else? Shaken, yes. The Shaken is a. Uh, every two years, you have to pay about a thousand bucks to to have your car inspected and checked. It is a scam to sell new cars, as you as you mentioned. There are recently. There's a lot more people. In, I'm kind of a little bit into the, into the car car scene, I guess you can say. You start to see a lot more older cars, more for collectors type thing. But uh, it's it's definitely ex it gets expensive as the car gets older. Uh, a good way to save money or to purchase a car if you're gonna buy one in Japan is to get a K car, which is one of the smaller cars. It's like 670 or 60 cc motor. They got enough power to get you around. Really good gas mileage. The Shaken is about uh, let's see, I want to say 600 bucks. It's it's definitely cheaper. The road tax is cheaper. Also, another thing you got to pay every year, you got to pay road tax based on the, the, the size of your engine and the weight of your car. So, they don't... The Japanese government does not make it cheap to drive in Japan. Yes, it's very, very pricey. And gas, gas is like 120 yen a liter now. So, times five, six bucks a gallon. Uh, tolls. Tolls are really expensive as well. In Fukuoka, the, the Urban Expressway that kind of goes around the city, which is not quite complete yet, but that's 600 yen a shot. Uh, the highway, the highway used to be about 25 bucks or 2,500 yen an hour of driving, basically. That's a kind of a formula I, I made up myself. But now, if you have a, the e, ETC, electronic toll or something, you can uh, go anywhere on the highway on weekends and holidays for a thousand yen, which is great, but then everyone else is doing it, so now the highways on, on weekends are crowded. Mostly holiday weekends, but normal weekends is not as bad. Still still definitely the way to go. The kind of a people always say, Why do you always take the highways? Why do you always take the highways? Well, basically from here to Fukuoka if I don't take the highway takes me about if there's traffic here from here I live a little bit outside of Fukuoka city from here to the city it's about an hour and a half to two hours driving in on the the lower roads which are, the regular roads which are, they call the Shita Michi the low Shita's under Michi's road yeah so on the Shita Michi takes a, at least an hour and a half to two hours depending on traffic but if I take the highway I can be in downtown Tenjin which is you know downtown Fukuoka in about 25 or 30 minutes taking the highway live a little bit in the sticks let's just say <laughs> but it's cheap so it depends on where you live if you live in a city you don't need a car get yourself a nice mama chari which is one of those grandma bicycles with a bell goes bring 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 or um, get a scooter get a scooter for like you know uh, if you get a used, beat up one, you know, 40,000 yen, 400 bucks. Uh, all you need is a regular driver's license for 49cc or below. Uh, what else? For Americans, if you come here and you want to drive, get yourself a international driver's license right when you leave. And make sure it's good for, you can write the dates you want it good for. Give yourself a year. I think you can legally drive a year on an international driver's license. But after that point, you have to convert your license. So what you got to do is you got to bring that and your license to the JAF, 
which is uh, J Japan Auto Federation, which is kind of like AAA. They'll translate it for a fee, give you a copy of it. Then you got to take that to the, the Department of Motor Vehicles. And then you pay, you take a written test, which is about 10 questions that are really easy, except for the fact that the grammar is all jacked up. So it's hard to kind of figure out what the question is. But some of the questions are like, do you need insurance to drive in Japan? Yes or no? True or false? Uh, if there's a red light, should you stop? You know, it's really simple, dumb questions. But it's easy. That's the easy part, passing that test. Uh, there's an eye test, of course, and all that jazz. The driver's test is really, really, like the 546 mark, really, really, really anal. And uh, I don't have enough time to explain how to pass it in this video. But basically, talk to as many people as possible. And feel free to email me if you if you're going to take it. Uh, talk to as many people, find out what they had to do or what, what test they did. Go to the DMV, watch, the, you know, before you take the test, go watch and see, you know, all the different patterns at your local DMV and then find out the little tricks of the, of the trade and then practice, 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 practice. Go find those really narrow roads with walls on each side that you have to close in your mirrors to get through. Just drive around Japan and you can, you can pass the test. Learn how to park backwards. They, they, you love parking backwards in Japan. I'm sure Jason can tell you. And uh, you'll have to, you might have to do that on the test. I didn't have to on, on my test, but it was pretty cool. So, yeah, driving in Japan is great. I, 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 I can't live without a car. But if I live downtown in a city, in downtown Fukuoka, no problem. Subways, buses, bicycle. You almost don't want a car. It's like, one dollar an hour to uh, 250 dollars for half an hour not 250 dollars 250 yen so two dollars fifty cents for half an hour per, uh, parking depending on the time of the day but uh, you you make enough most teachers make enough money to actually own a car if they want uh, parking for your apartment if you live in the country is not as bad where I live is about uh, 3,000 yen or 30 bucks for parking a month. When I lived in the city, it was about uh, 150 bucks, so 15,000 yen. Up to, you know, I've, people I've known paid 250 bucks a month to park or 200 bucks a month. So it all depends where you live. But if you live in the country or a little bit outside the city, you can often get your apartment with parking for, you know, an extra fee. So not so bad. But, oh, if you're gonna buy a car, if you buy a full-size car, not a K car, you have to have parking. Before you can buy it, the police have to come measure it, make sure your car will fit, and get all this paperwork and, and all that jazz. It's a process, it's a long process. If you buy a K car, you don't actually have to prove you have parking. So, uh, if you're gonna drive and you're not interested in motorsports or anything like that, just get yourself an old, cheap K car with about uh, as much shock in as possible on it. You can get an old one with about eight months to a year for under a thousand bucks pretty pretty easily. You know, no must, no fuss. A little like Suzuki out Suzuki Auto or a, a little Honda. I don't even know the name. Not uh, Honda City. Uh, I drive a Toyota Fun Car Go, which I received from my in law, so that was kind of cool. Didn't have to pay. Before I drove a Nissan Silvia and a Skyline, and what else did I have? Skyline, Silvia, two cars, yeah. So, it, it, it all depends. It's not that out of the... If you're going to stay a long time, having a car is nice. Um, you can take those long weekend trips and all that stuff. Where's the nine minute mark? But anyways, that's my long-winded response. If anybody else have, has questions about cars, you know, I've been driving in Japan for 10 years and probably can answer any question. Okay, thank you. Talk to you later.